guys, this is Oimbo Unye. I'm doing the first vlog for you guys, so I'm going to show you some uh, Accra, at least from a car perspective, because I'm, I, I'm having something to do in the south coast in Osu. I'm going to buy some medicine in the pharmacy, particular pharmacy. So I'm taking you guys along and I'm gonna do this uh, this vlog for you guys to tell me if you like such a recording in Accra here. So I can be taking you along in places, showing you um, Africa, West Africa, Ghana, Accra specifically. So let's go. So this is the Ajin Ghana. We are just passing Ajin Ghana right now. Um, if you watched my previous video about the palm wine, then you, you recognize this area maybe. I didn't really film as much here, but, um, but this time I'm showing you a little more of how Accra looks like. Um, this is East Lagoon. Some people say this is not East Lagoon, this is a Chisako area, Jingano area. But um, one thing about Africa here is if there's one nice area, then pretty much by extending this area with building more and more and more and more buildings uh, people tend to call the extended areas with the name of the good area which they are extending from which is pretty understable because um, the place already have an opinion so later if you want to rent a house, rent an apartment or, or build an apartment to buy um, automatically land rises uh, uh, a land prices are rising so it's pretty uh, profitable to do that what you see on the internet when you never been to Africa is um, pretty much different from reality which I don't really see nothing wrong with that to be honest it's a lot of things to explore in this place also you guys can see the style of driving in this place it took me some time to get used to it especially that I'm a young driver this really is um, not much of a, of a right when we are talking about uh, having a right of way you just need to follow your instinct and what does it tell you who's first in the goals but Ghana is pretty nice it's pretty nice it's pretty nice guys I must really tell you that um, in Ghana here people are pretty calm, drivers are, are pretty calm. But you guys have to excuse me because we have a harmaton here right now. And a harmaton is a word, local word for, for, for a dry season here. Which is very dusty and not really nice, everything is dry. Today is not really bad but on the worst days, you can't uh, you can't really see what is uh, 20 meters in front of you because of the dust. You guys should start noticing the traffic sellers. Pretty um, phenomenon for Africa. I've seen this a bit um, in Asia, back in Asia. But in Africa here is really every single where, every literally any any lights, any traffic spot. Um, there is traffic sellers there selling drinks, selling. Um, okay, let me put this like this for you so you can see it better. Selling drinks, selling credit, selling nuts. This woman there, right there on the right, has nuts, tiger nuts on her head. And another phenomenon of Africa, really, which I love and adore so much is carrying things on the head and it's not only women also men carry things on the head and it only goes to show how incredible balance these people have how incredibly physically able they are for no thank you thank you i've been offered a baby shoe just now <laughs> Yeah. Who buys a shoe in the traffic? I, I will never understand that. Like how, how, how do you even check if it's your size, if it fits you? When your legs are under the steering, I mean, seriously. So coming back to carrying things on the head is... is I remember when I was in primary school and 
um, we had some activity called like a correction gymnastics. One of these activities was actually carrying a thing on the head, a, a small bag filled with rice or with uh, some beans, dried beans or something, uh, which you're supposed to place on top of your head and walk straight with your arms spread onto the sides and do different activities while holding that. So you can imagine, since that is needed, I don't even know if, if they still carry such a programs in primary schools or in schools whatsoever. Um, but when I was in primary school, and that was pretty much around, around like 17 years ago, <laughs> they, were, they were doing that, they used to do that. So since there were kids, we needed uh, the, the, the position correction and being directed to such. Then imagine how much of a position Africans have since they are able to carry things on the head. And it's not only things, they can carry like up to 50 kg or 70 kg on their head and they don't collapse. My brother, this man is incredible. Every time I'm passing here, they are stretching their hand because they are, they are people responsible here, as you see, there is a wing, wing traffic here. Only one, only one uh, side can be going at one time because it's too narrow to be incoming and oncoming traffic. That man, they are also, from both sides, they are also always stretching their hand as, as in they want to stop you. But their real uh, hidden purpose is that for you to give them small money so they can extend, they can allow three or four more cars to come This is a Coca-Cola roundabout. Why is it called Coca-Cola roundabout? You probably see right now. Because there's a huge model of Coca-Cola bottle in the middle. I'm not sure if you see that, that building, uh, the tall building. You can now see how much of the dust is in the air. This is not a small. This is not an air pollution. This is just dust, which is basically a result of Havatan. So, so dry that any wind occurring right now is carrying all this dust, the, the famous orange African ground, and also, I guess, I mean, I was told an air from above Sahara, which is pretty dusty, as one could guess. Yesterday, my husband told me that if we, if we follow and go to the north, when it's really closer to, to the Sahara Desert itself, when you're walking on the street for I guess 30 minutes or so, a few minutes, then your face and your hair and everything will become dusty so fast that it, it will be literally looking like you put the baby powder on your face and your head. Which I can't really imagine because I'm already having difficulties with breathing. Um, just walking on the on the south and this is really cost. Accra, Accra is located on the coast. We have an ocean in here, so it shouldn't be this way, I guess. That's how it is. That's a difficult topic. I'm not sure if I'm ready. If I'm mentally ready and emotionally ready today to talk about this. Beggars and the cripples on the on the junctions and the, in the traffic. See, I've just given one, and and the other one is already there. So, guess I will find myself mentally capable to do that, to talk about this today. Um, another day to you. Because that's a pretty much uh, controversial topic, I would say. So,
I'm not sure if you guys, you guys probably don't see this advert. Maybe you've seen it before we were coming. There is an advert of luxury three and four bedrooms townhouses. And it says affordably priced. $499,000 that's half of a million dollars and that's an affordable price for them so let me just stay here and leave you guys with this information Oxford Street, the main tourist street I would say, and also here. That's when, when when you want to go to club, that's where you come. A bar, a casino, all these kind of things. Pretty much things are happening here over overnight. And somewhere, oh yeah, that's the pharmacy, yeah. That's the pharmacy I'm coming to. Not that one single parking space waiting just for me. That's lovely. Another topic which I wanted to talk about with you guys is the texts on the cars here, yeah. especially on the on the working cars, which is like taxi drivers or some Uber drivers. What the times it happens on the private cars too. A Bible quotes, a Quran quotes, um, some texts and sentences, religious ones. For instance, Jesus is a king, or Allahu Akbar, or the other things. I mean, I pretty much like how Africans abandon their religion with their lives for real. Because where I come from, um, it's not like that. I mean, a church is pretty much banded to the, to the public life, but but it's not like um, a part of the church people are showing so much of their of their faith some of them maybe but it's not as as common like here i would say him majority of the people is like this um i've been sitting on my rooftop yesterday and one of our neighbors was throwing a party many many cars many many people came music was jamming seriously and what, what what surprised me i mean they didn't really surprise me like that but it impressed me when they were starting the party they played some gospel music they danced they sang they praised lord first before starting the, the party indeed that's impressive that's really really impressive about africa here That even going to a party is, is counting in the prayer, counting in praising God. I don't know if you guys are religious or you guys are Thais, Christians, Muslims, maybe you are Buddhists or Hindu, I don't know. And I don't really care because anyone has, has a right to their own religious views, to their own world view it really doesn't touch me and I'm not here to, to influence you guys by any way just speaking facts of how is the reality here in Ghana and in Africa in general I would say 
that's the Flagstaff house. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Really impressive. So many people here, so many people every single day. I mean, I wonder why is that there's such a trend of mulling, I would say. I don't know if this word has any other word, meaning in English, really. I'm just trying to call an activity of going to a mall alone with the friends, with the family, at times without any specific purpose, just to go to a mall. Mulling. Ladies and gentlemen, which one of us is a molar? Hmm? Don't worry, say, say the truth. I promise I'll not judge you. Hundreds of people, seriously. So we got our coffee. I just came here for one minute, seriously. And I'm realizing the battery is down, so I'm not sure if I'll make it to the end today with you guys. Maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 